that guy wound me up in every way and then beat me. It was unbelievable. Used your punchline yep. to, f- to throw to a question, and now he's right. making us listen to you sing. Man, yeah. he gave you the business. That hurt. Still give it to me for weeks mm-hmm. to come, assuming I keep on winning. We'll just have it, and that'll be on on Friday. Everybody will tune in Friday to hear that. You know what I'm going to need you to do as your coach? Mm. I'm going to need you to stay focused in the hallway. I got to. I had a donut. Well, and then you go, started railing about the lack of cream in said donut. Oh, I did. You're right. <laughs> yeah, your mind is everywhere but on music. God, you're right. By the way, after the show, I had a second donut. You had already left. And I went down the hall. To, both of you had left. I went to Dave. And I said, look at the goddamn cream <laughs> <laughs> and this donut. Yeah. And Dave's like, I'm off the clock, man. I'm not looking <laughs> yeah. at the cream anymore. I don't want to look it. in your hole. <laughs> because I'll tell you this. I had three Did bites. Did you slice it with a plastic knife? I should have. I had three bites of that donut. Didn't hit nary a drop of cream. Yeah, it was a week. Uh, <laughs> it was that, terrible. Those were weak filled. I, showed, I said, look at this. <laughs> Who's manning the cream gun? <laughs> <laughs> Probably some manager. I told him. I said, look at this. Trying to save a nickel. Chris Tim called it creamflation, and he was right. It, it is. was ridiculous. But that's the problem is you go out there, you get so, I your know. mind wanders, and that's all you were thinking about was, that's right. look at this, there's this no cream in this donut. You weren't thinking music at all. Exactly. And and when I came back in, and- You heard the number. I heard the, the number. Put. Yeah. Like, perfect. No, easy. Perfect. That cream laid heavy on my gut. And I assumed I was going to win, which I'm never supposed to do because I'm living by the four agreements. Yeah. Okay. Uh, speaking of which- if that same brand of donut is out there this Friday, and it likely will be, I'll have another cream-filled donut. I'll go back to it and have it. Bring a plastic knife so you can cut it in half so you can take a look. Take a look at the cream. That's a good idea. I'll tell you what, Dave. And then, and then I feel you. That got me. Tweet off. it at the donut maker. Mm-hmm. Yes. And say, explain yourself. That's right. Yes, I will. <laughs> yes, I will. I'll no, tell you. We're not putting as much cream in there. Oh, is that right? right? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Explain th- this. <laughs> <laughs> that we're not putting in, uh, as much cream now. That's right. We're trying to cut back on calories for our customers. I tell you what, we're a long way from Donut Depot, Ashboro, North Carolina, 1985. I used to go to Donut Depot all the time because they creamed their donuts like nobody else. <laughs> it was be- it was more cream than donut. And where are they today? Out of business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See what it. happens? Well, the cream budget went so high. They're overhead, you know? Yeah. If you start creaming Didn't they everything. close after you went to college? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they, they lost left. their source. We're losing our. <laughs> they did. It was a we're one. Spending all this money, we're not making anything. We're buying all this cream. I'll tell you what. I had. I kept them in business. I'd go by there so much. I love those cream filled donuts. The donut Depot. So good. So the question is: This is a, this is a study that's been done. They polled twenty thousand American adults and said, if you had a problem, if you uh, bought a brand of any product. How many chances do you give it if you're not satisfied the first time around? How many chances do you give it before you switch brands and go to something else? A la the donuts. Mm-hmm. You know, the uh, non-cream-filled mm-hmm. donuts. You're going to give it a week. <laughs> right. Well, I keep on I keep on going back. I will go back again. Well, you would think, now I've not seen the results, mm-hmm. but you would think that kind of a, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm using the term correctly, but it's kind of like a sliding scale. Mm-hmm. The more you spend, mm-hmm. I imagine the less leeway you're willing to give that's the truth for instance my wife bought a car brand she did not like that's right and she said she'll never buy one of those again. okay we bought wash machine dryer lg now i had other lg little products before and i thought they were fine but we bought a wash machine dryer never worked properly and now my wife says no lg on anything she mm-hmm. will not have See, the problem LG. is they make great tvs they do i agree i love but at, i've heard nothing but bad things about their washers. wash machine dryer and i said to that to my wife and she's like i will not have an lg product because she hated the washing machine dryer mm-hmm. it was awful and it, it did it conked daddy out daddy wants a tv i said daddy wants a tv she said get a samsung samsung mm-hmm. you know i some of them good some of them bad my donuts are free you know, they're just brought in. Yep. I go back. You take a chance. I you got nothing to chance. lose. The answer, by the way, is one. Once you have one bad experience, you're not going back. 60% said that. But hmm. I think Chris Jim's right about the price. Yeah, you I mean, know. if it's a restaurant, sometimes we try to give them mm, two, two shots. Two shots. Two chances. If it's not great the first time around, they might have been just having a bad night. Right. Either. Or if they're new. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Restaurants have a hard time shaking things out sometimes. That's right. That's right. There's a restaurant I eat at once a year and uh, just to see if they're still terrible, and they never let me down. <laughs> Really? Well, text uh-huh. that. To, I want to. I know. That, that text now that to once a year. I, I eat there, mm-hmm. and it's always terrible. Uh-huh. And it's kind of a joke now. I have with friends that it's mm-hmm. like, oh, it's that time of year. I'm going to give them a shot. And you, do you go by yourself, or do you go with friends? No, I'll just go by myself, and I'll uh, get. You order something. the same thing, or is it a seasonal menu? Um, <laughs> 
I think I know the answer to that. I uh, mm-hmm. I order the same thing mm-hmm. each time, mm-hmm. and like one, it, it all started kind of as a joke. Like one year it was totally mismade, you know, <laughs> totally messed up. Last year, well, I've tra- I I tried it's a this white year. Tablecloth spot here. <laughs> Well, it's a tablecloth spot. Yeah. 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 I had to send pictures out to friends to prove. Last year, I had it delivered. Uh Uh-huh. And, um... No. (laughs) No. Half of it was missing. Oh, that's right. right. Half of it, the order was... Mm. Yes. And I don't even know how that happened. Yeah. But, uh, consistently, this place screws up. But... We've almost come to the time. It's almost that time where I tried them once like, again. Yeah. Yeah. Like an NFL kickoff, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Hall uh, yes. of Fame weekend? You know what? That's what I'll do. I'll save it for the first weekend, first weekend of, the of, NFL fo- of football, and I'll see if it's still terrible. But if the word hut is in the name. <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much know. But it used to be such a great place. It used to be such a great place. It did. 